So what's up guys, Jermaine here. Yeah, I sold out all of my Tesla shares and um, I'm going to tell you guys why. I'm going to also give you guys the uh, price I sold it out as and what I did with that money as well as my profits and if I do plan on buying Tesla later on in the future. But uh, if you're new here, my name is Jermaine Young. I post three times a week every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I talk everything financial related from credit cards to real estate, stock market, get investing, anything that will help you make you money today and in the future. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So yeah, um, I own Tesla for about two years now, maybe a little more than two years. I bought in it around like a little over $200 a share. Um, Tesla was my second biggest position. And the reason why I bought Tesla initially was because, you know, I just saw how futuristic this uh, company was. And, you know, I just shared the vision that Elon did. And I like how he just made it to where, you know, electric vehicles was something that was cool. Because before, you know, electric vehicles was just things like Prius that, you know, didn't really look too good, wasn't too sporty, not anything that I or anyone I know personally would be really interest, interested in buying. So, and that wasn't until Tesla came along and then, you know, it became this beautiful car that, you know, with all these bells and whistles, it was, you know, something that I saw as more than just a car company, but also a tech company, you know, which was the leader in innovation um, and EVs as a whole, also with the autonomous vehicles. You know, I, I still do believe in Tesla. I do believe Tesla is the leader and front runner of this innovation. I do believe that Tesla will be the first vehicles to have full autonomous uh, vehicles on the road. Um, but uh, yeah, I did a video a few days ago um, back when Tesla was just like exploding. And, you know, in two days, Tesla had uh, gained 40% um, in profits and it just started looking crazy how, you know, this company in two days could grow 40%. Now, mind you, Tesla was on like a rip where it was just like a line where it was just, you know, going up in a curve, but then in a two day period, it just, instead of going up in a curve, it just went straight up. And then, you know, to me, it just looked completely unhealthy. It looked, um, parabolic it just didn't look you know real you know it's just something in my soul just started telling me you know something isn't right here now you know i don't think it was um anything that was necessarily you know wrong it's just that i felt that you know um it started to form a bubble and anytime i start seeing things that you know form bubbles or even look like they want to form bubbles, you know, I immediately get out of it. You know, there's a famous quote that uh, Warren Buffett once said, be uh, greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. And, you know, uh, as soon as I started seeing that, you know, and it, uh, I think it peaked around $960 a share, you know, my, my gut was telling me, you know, get out of it at a thousand dollars once they you know that was something that I said before once it reached a thousand dollars that I was going to start selling out but it was getting too close to those numbers too fast so you know ultimately I started selling out so I sold um I sold half of my position at around nine hundred and twenty dollars a share um because during that time you know it did start showing a little bit of volatility you know it peaked at around 960 but then it started bouncing around from like 960 to around like you know 8 uh 80 you know and it just started showing a little bit of signs of volatility and my fear was that this stock was going to just start crashing down that something was going to happen that you know i didn't know what was going on if short sellers was like covering their positions or if, you know institutional investors were getting in or this was like hedge funds started dumping money into it i didn't know what was going on and i just saw that it was getting too close to a thousand way too fast for my comfort and i just felt like it was a bubble forming and you know bubbles form bubbles pop look at beyond meat that was something that happened you know recently not too long ago it's just skyrocketing going straight up ever since it ipo'd people started jumping in but then i saw that numbers was growing too big too fast and i was like that is definitely a bubble and sure enough it popped and tilray another example of a bubble you know companies growing too big too fast 
the numbers aren't real it's just things don't make sense and eventually you know they do come crashing down and that was my fear that i get caught in that with tesla so i initially sold 50 percent of my position and then uh, the next day um i saw tesla starting to come down and i think that the next day it came down around 17 18 percent midday trading i decided to sell the remaining shares of my tesla stock at around eight hundred um dollars a share and i mean and all in all i'm happy i mean this is a company that you know it was my second largest position i made close to 200 percent on in profits in this company i have nothing to complain about i have no ill will you know and what I did with that money initially is I, I never I never really took it out of the markets. I just took it out of Tesla. I took it out of Tesla and I started dividing up into other companies that I wanted to invest into because I wanted to invest in I wanted to build an account where I was gonna invest into companies that were only in Dow Jones and they, you know, would pay dividends and this would be essentially my dividend account. So I would may have like, you know, three main accounts, one just retirement money two would be you know my passive investment account which would be just a, a mutual fund or vanguard holdings and that would just track the s p 500 and then the last one which was what i was putting money into which would be you know my dividend account but it would not only just essentially be dividends but it would be dividend stocks and these companies would be companies that were on in the dow jones so essentially it would be a little less than 30 because i'm not going to buy all of those companies that are in the dow because some of them i like some that i don't like i mean two prime examples of companies i don't like that are in there are exxon and chevron i actually was an owner of, of exxon and i sold out of that position completely because i just think uh, within the near future consumer behavior is going to change rapidly and we're just not going to be dependent on oil anymore as especially as much as we are so i think these evs like teslas um uh, you know and other automakers are getting the picture you know of what tesla is here tesla is here to stay and you know their innovation is real and it's the future and this is what it is so you know i wanted to kind of be ahead of the curve and you know get out of uh, exxon i never owned chevron it was a company that was on a list of companies i wanted to buy but um, not anymore, not whether I see like in the near future that, you know, it's going to be a major shift in consumer behavior and, you know, just maybe one day that those two companies may get kicked out of the Dow because they may continue to be losing. And that's something that does happen from time to time. You know, G GE was in the Dow at one point and, you know, it started losing and losing until, you know, eventually it was kicked out and replaced with uh, Walgreens. But um, um, in the future, do I plan on repurchasing tesla stock i would but it has to be at the right level now if the stock drops to around like five six hundred dollars a share um again then yeah i'm definitely buying back in because i do think in the long term in the future this company can be a stock that is a one two thousand dollar stock you know in both cases i do think it can get to four thousand dollars a share you know it's just that once I saw that it was forming this bubble, I just had to, you know, protect my gains and, you know, protect my money. And I just wanted to take out and take my profits and rent because, you know, I did pretty well. Close to 200 um, percent gains on my investment. And that was my second biggest investment. So I would purchase back into it in the future. It just has to be at the right price for the right amount. Um, you know, with everything that's going on now with this China stuff, you know, uh, Tesla just built their factory over there, but they also reported uh, yesterday that Model 3s are going to be delayed because of everything that's going on in China, and that may hurt them this quarter. So next quarter, let's see what they report for Q1, and you know they may miss on earnings for all we know. And if they miss on earnings, I can expect the stock to drop completely. You know, so um, definitely keeping cash on the side. As always, you know, just to deploy when deals come up just like this, I think it may be a deal that may come up eventually, you know, especially if they do miss on earnings with everything that's going on in China right now. So we'll have to see what holds in the future. If I do repurchase my shares in Tesla, I'll let you know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to rebuild it to where it's uh, that large of a position again. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I I'll definitely buy into it again for the right price. 
So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys are still Tesla shareholders, if you sold some, let me know. If you're not, you know, let me know also. Let me know your reasons why in the comment section below. As always, I hope you guys uh, find value in this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, peace.